Hello, my name is Andy Kong, and I'm here to present my 15.1.12 term project. So for my term project, I decided to make a Tetris AI. I started with the single player Tetris that we had uh, made earlier in the year, and I spruced it up a lot. This is about 10 hours of work. Um, I added cell decals, I added a hold feature for the next piece, and I added a queue to show you uh, what, what pieces are coming up next. And so if we come out of this menu, uh, after the single player Tetris, I finished making the AI. So what this AI does is it tests each possible move of each piece. So every single rotation and every single column that you could possibly drop the piece in, uh, it simulates those on a board, and then it rates the board. And uh, the, the board rating happens with a, uh, with a board rating algorithm that I had to create. And originally, I, I set the, you know, the features for this algorithm, uh, and I also set the coefficients for each feature. But I realized that my coefficients were not perfect, and I wanted to make the machine optimize itself. Uh, so I set up a training environment where it could simulate, uh, you know, a, a bunch of series of coefficients, and then it trained itself until it saw uh, a board rating algorithm that ha maximized points per piece, also uh, play time. So now I perfected the the algorithm. You can play against the AI. And with the speed throttle down, depending on how, how much of a challenge you want, you can change the AI speed. Here you are playing on the left, and they're playing on the right. They're independent games. Uh, but since there was no interaction between the AI and you, I decided to add a learning mode. And so my learning mode is targeted towards beginners. It looks like a single player mode at first, until you finish placing your first piece. And then every single sequential, sequential piece, um, the, the AI running in the background shows you where it would have placed the next piece. Uh, in this case, it would it would have held the red piece and put, placed the green piece here, and so but the beginner is still left to uh, make their own move, and this lets the beginner see the best possible move from a computational standpoint and make their own decision and learn from their own mistakes. Um, so this learning mode only goes for one move right now, but it, it, for beginners looking to practice their foresight. I've also created a version that goes two moves into the future. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video about my term project. Uh, thank you for watching.